Welcome back to the Comics Run, everybody. Joey here to take you through my most anticipated releases for the week of March 26th. So let's get on with it. There's no other way to kick things off this week than with Marvel's big event for 2012, Avengers vs. the X-Men. Issue number zero releases this week and sets the stage for two of Marvel's most iconic factions going head to head over a little something called the Phoenix Force. Maybe you've heard of it. And wouldn't you know it, this series is launching just in the nick of time for the Avengers flick. How odd. Though not as large a scale as something like AVX, Mark Wade's fantastic Daredevil series reaches issue 10 this week. Daredevil takes on the Mole Man and his happy-go-lucky facade begins to fade away, leading to things to come in the Omega Effect crossover. If you haven't been reading Daredevil, chances are you probably hate puppies too. So please, don't hate the puppies. For older comic fans, Marvel's release of the untold tales of Spider-Man Omnibus should prove exciting. The mid-90s series is brought back in a giant collection that is pretty much exactly what it sounds like. It's new stories set in the early days of Spidey's hero career. Whereas the original issues were priced at 99 cents each, as compared to the $1.50, $2 price range of the mid to late 90s, this omnibus will cost you a bit more for 30 plus issues. Like, a hundred times more. Man, what I wouldn't give for $1.50 comics again. Over at DC Comics, Superman finally gets some new blood that will hopefully make his series something worthwhile. Certainly no strangers to the Man of Steel, Dan Jurgens and Keith Giffen launch a new story with fresh villains and a bigger connective thread to the main DC universe in the form of those demonites you've been seeing in books like Grifter and Voodoo. Here's hoping that my favorite superhero can finally get his due in the new 52. And I'm cheating a bit here, but I'm combining iVampire and Justice League Dark No. 7 into one entry. Why? Well, both are pretty awesome first and foremost, but secondly, these issues feature the crossover between the two titles as the cast of JLD is forced to intervene after the events of iVampire No. 6. As two of the New 52's darkest and most unique titles, I'm excited to see what they can pull off when combined. One thing is for sure, there will be oodles of blood and magic. And last but not least is the final entry to Vertigo's new stable of titles, The New Dead Wardians. Written by fan favorite Dan Abnett, this series enters post-Victorian England that is rife with class warfare. Except the upper class are vampires and the lower class are zombies. While you might balk at yet another zombie and or vampire book, the intelligent approach to world building combined with a thrilling murder mystery offers enough of a hook to engage even the most jaded of readers. And that's it for this week's comics run, but check out comics.ign.com for reviews on all these books and more, and you can follow me on Twitter, at Joey Esposito. And don't forget to check out our comics podcast, IGN Assemble, every Friday. I'll catch you next week.